Uh, this is the machine that we built for printing capacitors. Um, essentially, um, uh, they wanted a device to close up a capacitor uh, after they put their materials in it. It consists of a can and a header piece that fits in here. And what they needed to do is make a, a tight seal and turn it into uh, a seal such as this. Okay. They had to have to have a way to crimp around that. So uh, we made this device, which is a consists of an air cylinder, a collar closer. It's got a couple buttons that are spaced apart for safety. And the way it works is you take the can, okay, you take the whatever it is they're going to push in there. They stuff that in there first, and this is the header that goes on top. And now we're going to do a crimp. So we put it in the pallet device, and then we're just going to hit two buttons and hold it down. And release. Now another thing we added was this little kick-out button, so because it would be harder to, to grab, uh, especially if it's in a glove box. So we just kick that up, pull the can out, and then there we have a crimp around the can. Um, one of the things they wanted to do as well is test the integrity of the uh, of the crimp, make sure we had a good seal. So we built this little device, um, and what it does is it has a couple O-rings, and then it has a groove in the center, which will communicate with a hole in the can. We had one of these with a hole. We put a 1 16th hole, approximately 0.6 up from the edge. This gets inserted, and then uh, this gets uh, pressurized. And we've tested several of them, and it doesn't apparently there's absolutely no leaks around the outside, and it also ends up bulging the outside of the can, so at about 120 psi. So uh, I know we're good to at least 120 psi. It seems to be working fine. Okay, uh, again, um, the working components are the air cylinder. Uh, we have a uh, collar closer, and then we have uh, two buttons uh, that we put on there for safety. And if you look underneath it, okay, underneath on the inside, you can see this little kick-out finger that we added later on to aid uh, the operator in removing the can. So um, that's the whole deal. I'll do one more before we end the video. Basically, we put the header in the can, put it in, hit the buttons, crimp, kick-out, and finished. And that's the whole deal.